In this video, I'd like to demonstrate cross-tabulation in the chi-squared test for statistical significance. Cross-tabs, otherwise known as contingency tables, and chi-squared tests are appropriate when you're assessing the relationship between two categorical variables, either nominal or ordinal. By way of example, let's look at the relationship between two categorical variables, race, ethnicity, and trust. I've codebooked two variables here, eth race, with four categories for race and ethnicity, and new trust, which has two categories for you can't be too careful and people can be trusted. The command to run a cross-tab in chi-square is pretty simple. In the command window, simply type tab, and then your independent variable, in this case, eth race, then your dependent variable, new trust, comma, row, chi, and capital V. Again, here eth race is the independent variable and will comprise my rows in my table. New trust is the dependent variable and will comprise the columns. That's the common practice in terms of selecting row and column variables. The option command row in this case tells Stata to include within row relative frequencies. This will make sense when we see the results. Alternatively, I could have put call, C-O-L, which would have included within column relative frequencies. One would use call if listing the dependent variable first. The chi option tells it to conduct a chi-squared test, and capital V, note this is one of the very few times where you use an uppercase letter in Stata, tells it to report Kramer's V, a measure of effect size. V is known as phi when dealing with 2x2 two two tables, though the command doesn't change, simply use V in either case. Now if both of my variables were ordinal, it is appropriate to ask for a different effect size measure, either gamma or Kendall's Dow V, which are specialized effect size measures suitable for such cases. So let me go ahead and hit return and let's take a look at the results. Now to accomplish this same feat through the menu system, you'd simply go to statistics, summary tables and tests, tables, two-way tables with measures of association. And here, again, my row variable would be my independent variable, in this case, eth race. My column variable, my dependent variable, in this case, new trust. And I also want it to report Pearson's chi-squared and Kramer's V. And here you see the options for Kendall's Dow V and gamma. If you had cells with very few cases, you might opt to include Fisher's exact test. Now, in terms of cell contents, we're going to want the within row relative frequencies. And you can also ask for the expected frequencies. And I'll go ahead and do that in this case. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Here are the observed frequencies in each cell, the expected frequencies in each cell, and of course the percentage. In this case, here's the percentage of white respondents who say you can't be too careful, and the percentage of white respondents who say people can be trusted. Personally, I find including the expected values to be a little overwhelming, so I typically exclude them from at least the presentation of results. Looking at the general results, we can see that about 61% of whites say that people can be trusted, and 39% say you can't be too careful. Very similar percentages for Asian respondents. However, when we look at African American and Hispanic respondents, we see kind of the reverse. We see 26 and 29% of those respondents saying people can be trusted, but 74 and 71% say that you can't be too careful. Here we have the Pearson's chi-square statistic, 279.9 with a degrees of freedom of 3 and a p-value less than 0 0.001. How is the chi-squared statistic calculated? Let's take a look at the equation. It's simply based on the sum of observed frequencies minus expected frequencies squared divided by the expected frequencies. Again, expected frequencies are what we would expect by chance. The further observed frequencies depart from expected frequencies, the stronger the case for there being a relationship between the two variables. In other words, the classification in one variable has an impact on the classification in the other to some degree. In this case, we can reject the null hypothesis that there is no relationship between the two variables and embrace the alternative hypothesis that there is a statistically significant relationship. Now Kramer's V is also reported here, 0.27. Using the usual benchmarks, we can say that the relationship between race, ethnicity, and trust in this case is medium in size. We may have to write up the results as follows. So that's the process of running a standard cross-tabulation and chi-square test. Hope it's useful.